Tonight, the city of Atlanta uniting with more than two dozen other North American cities. People are calling for peace in Ukraine, where residents continue to hold off an unprovoked Russian invasion. Atlanta News First reporter Asia Wilson is in Piedmont Park tonight with more on how activists are gathering in support of people that are really thousands of miles away. People came here to Piedmont Park for the 365 days of defending freedom rally. They remembered those who died, thanking those who still fighting, but also asking for your continued support. Show some mercy to us. Prayers, chants and moments of silence. <gasps> Filled Oak Hill at Piedmont Park on Saturday for a battle being fought thousands of miles away. One year ago, um, in the March of the 6th, uh, the Russian terrorists came to my city. They hit a bomb into my home. Maria Yetsko says her family wasn't at home at the time, but that house in Kharkiv was ruined. Russian terrorists, they killing people, they killing everything what we have. They destroy our life. And it is very, very difficult to start from a zero. It's why she and her son fled to Metro Atlanta eight months ago. We're trying to build our life from zero. And my husband, he is still uh, staying in Ukraine. He is in the military. He is fighting to get uh, uh, freedom for our country. 365 days later, Ukrainians and Americans are uniting together, reflecting on each day of this invasion. We're also honoring those who are still fighting, like this Ukrainian chief police officer who was taken into captivity by the Russian army and came here to America for rehab for a couple of months. This is not just a war between Russia and Ukraine. This is war of civilizations. And we all have to be united. And as the battle continues, Give the peace to our land. These families are hopeful for better days ahead. We are standing with Ukraine. We hope that everything will end and no more people will die. In Atlanta, Asia Wilson, Atlanta News First. We'll organize